Hello and welcome to this week's remote art club. You will need watercolour paints, a selection of brushes, different sizes, some scissors, pencil, metal ruler if you have one but wooden or plastic will do fine, um, craft knife completely optional um, if you use one and have one might be handy but you can get by with that. If you don't have watercolours, you can use pencil crayon and felt tips for this one. And we are going to create our rather funky little concertina banner greetings cards. Okay, and also go and grab yourself a cuppa and I'll meet you back here soon. Bye! Okay, so hopefully you've got everything you now need. So here's my example, which is actually a little birthday card and it stands up like that. Uh, you could do anything really. You could do one for Father's Day. You could do one that just said hello. You could do one that was just somebody's name like this one. So this was a birthday card I made for Adam. So you could just do one where it just is the person's name, okay? You could even do one a Merry Christmas. So there's loads and loads and loads of different options, okay? But I'm going to take the word happy for my example. So I'll pop those to one side. Now, I've used blue card, but it's up to you whichever colour you want to use. This was an A4 piece of blue card, which I have cut into three strips. So the piece of paper was landscape, and I've cut it into three strips of seven centimeters in height. Okay, so seven, 14, 21 centimeters. You'll get three strips from a piece of A4 landscape paper. Okay. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. What we want to do first of all are our actual letters. Now you might have some little wet wooden letters like this that you could use to draw around. You could just draw your own letters or what I quite like to do is, this is printed on cartridge paper so just a bit thicker and suitable for painting on is actually word art so just using the aerial font bold this is 190 and that means I can print that off and I've got my letters ready to go okay but as I said if you can't do that just draw them by hand it'll take you a bit longer but it'll work equally fine okay so I'm going to use my watercolors And I think I'm just going to stick to the primary colours. So what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm just going to go to my yellow. I'm going to have three yellow letters. And don't worry. The lovely thing about this is it will cut the letters out so you can go over your edges. You don't have to worry about being too neat or tidy. And I have a red letter. Yeah, it's quite pink, but that's alright. So, what I might do is use a mix of my, both of my reds together for that letter. And it's just a kind of quite light wash. Lovely. Now you'll want to give that a minute or two to dry. Now this next bit is up to you because you could add some detail using felt tip pens. 
or you could paint it like I have. I'm going to paint it. So I'm just going to get the size brushes I need. So I want some quite little brushes. And I'm going to go in with some blue dashes to begin with onto the first letter. And again, don't worry about going over the lines because it will all look really neat when you cut them out. some little dashes on the P, like stitches. You can do anything really, any mark making. If you're not sure what you want to do, have a little practice on your spare piece of paper here. So you could have a selection of brushes. anything goes okay you can do any patterns anything um, if you were doing a name you could do that person's favorite color you could do I, things that person likes in the letters they do make a really lovely little kind of gift card and it can be put up and displayed like a banner as well especially with Father's Day coming up that's quite a nice opportunity or just to send someone a nice card, just to say hello. your letters as much or as little as you want really. Actually I think what I might do is take my red felt tip and do some really teeny, teeny tiny parts. This one here. If you haven't got paint you could use felt tips and pencil crayons. Dots and dashes work really well for kind of spinning up space and looking quite decorative at the same time. You could use gold pens on these or sort of metallic pens if you wanted as well. If you wanted to make it, if it was for a birthday or a celebration, make it a bit more glitzy. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave, haha, I'm going to leave my letters there. So if you pause your video now, you carry on and uh, join me back here when you're finished. I'll see you in a bit.
hopefully now you've got all your letters cut out these middles of these letters I've cut out with a craft knife so those will just pop out like that if you don't have a craft knife you'll need a small pair of scissors like this but you can really gently just bend your letter over try not to fold it but don't worry if you fold it do a little snip like that and then that makes a hole in the middle and you can really really gently work around that middle shape follow the black lines make sure you haven't got any of the black lines showing if possible this is really fiddly this bit but persevere obviously if any children are doing this you might just want someone grown up to help you with this tricky stage okay I'm just checking my letters a couple of them have little black edges so I'm just going to I don't really want an outline on them if I can help it okay I'll leave it like that just oh hang on one more keep spotting them now one more there okay so they are my letters okay I'm put those to one side now I'm gonna do the tricky bit because I'm gonna get my piece of cardboard now I'm probably only gonna use one strip for the word happy you might use need more and that's fine so if you just put your letters on as a bit of a guide space them out like that I'm going to see what measurement that is now per letter so I need to get myself a ruler So I think it might be fit quite nicely into five and a half or six centimetres per letter. So let's try five and a half. So five and a half there. leaves me with about two centimetres so what I might do is just draw a line there okay I'm just going to pop my letters to one side I'm going to snip that end section off Now I want to start to fold these and I'm going to use my ruler to help me with this. So I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to line it up on that little mark that I made, which is my five and a half centimetres. I'm going to press that bit of card against the edge of my ruler and that should give me a nice fold. Fold it the other way. So I want this to concertina, so once I've got one fold, just put it under itself. Go back to my next five and a half centimetre mark. Again, do the same, use the ruler. So press, so the paper comes over the ruler, just press your finger along the ruler like that. Works best with a metal ruler, but if you don't have a metal ruler, a wooden one will do, or plastic. Try now just to do these by eye now. Yeah, so some of them you might have to just do by hand without the ruler. And that's my little concertina. Let's 
excellent. Okay, so that's going to open out nicely when someone receives that. It's going to stand up as well. It means that all these sections are equal. So that's five and a half centimetres. Okay, so I'm going to let you get on with that bit and I will meet you back here when you've done. So hopefully you've got on all right with your concertina. So what we're going to do now is just glue our letters into place. So before you glue them, you just might want to see where you're going to get them. So if you get the first one centrally, like lined up in the centre, the others will follow. Especially if you're using all capital letters, you might just have to have a little play around if you've gone for kind of capital and lowercase. Top and the bottom of each letter line up with each other. Satina card. So if you want to, you can cut out the middles within the card. If you've got a craft knife, easy to do. Scissors, it might be a bit trickier, but I think it looks as nice with the blue showing through. So it's up to you really. It's a, you can kind of add to the design by cutting it out a little bit further, but best to use a craft knife for that. If you don't have a craft knife, leave it as is. And uh, there we go. There you have it, your lovely little personalised banner greeting card for any occasion. It doesn't even need to be an occasion if you just want to send it to somebody to cheer them up. Let us know how you get on um, by sharing your creations with us. You can email them to us, you can share them on our social ma media pages. And also, whilst I've got you here, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got lots of great videos with lots of great kind of crafty and arty bits and pieces on them for you to try at home. Okay, excellent. Hope you had fun and we'll see you again soon. Bye.